Hello everybody, welcome back. Today, I'm so excited for this video. I have a brand new spring wedding guest dress edit for you. And I have a stack of dresses next to me, which I am so excited to take you through. After many orders and many try-ons, I have whittled it down to a top 10 and I'm super excited to share this with you. And so I have only gorgeous, gorgeous dresses to share with you. As always, I've tried to go for a range of price points and different styles so that you can have your legs covered, your arms covered, both, none at all. And it is worth noting that today's video purely focuses on dresses for spring, though some of them can be used also for winter and some of them might also work for summer as well but my main focus here was spring and if you are looking for more summery dresses in particular there will be a specific summer edit coming very very soon i'm just waiting for more of that summery stock to start appearing wedding guest dressing is obviously so personal to each individual to each wedding to each couple that are getting married so what works for one wedding might not work for another and that's one of the many reasons why i've tried to give such a range with my dresses but my advice would always be if you are unsure of what to wear speak to other people going to the wedding speak to your bride and groom see if there's any specific like i have friends that are like pastels but they don't necessarily put that on the invite but that's their preferred color scheme so sometimes it's just good to have a chat and figure it out that way i also like to think about the venue and what would kind of work best in that venue like something quite grand might not necessarily work if it's a smaller wedding or depending on the location of it if it's like a little kind of barn situation that's not necessarily going to work as well as a cute floaty little floral dress and if it's in a big fancy kind of manner or something like that or it's kind of a black tie thing or an evening thing then you're going to want to adjust accordingly so there are so many variable factors when it comes to wedding guest dressing including your own personal style but I've tried to go for a range and if you like my style generally then hopefully this will give you a little bit of inspo so the first dress I really didn't plan on normally I try and keep one of my favorites for nearer the end I did not plan on one of my favorites being the first dress that I tried on side note with this I actually didn't do the back up when I tried it on I completely forgot that it fully does up at the back so bear that in mind when you see me try it on you can do it up at the back even though I really liked it left open and I might actually if I do wear this I might pin it uh like that so that it just is open because i think it looks really cool having an open back and it really worked with this dress on me um but you can also you know close the back i just realized i got this in petite and now it's making so much sense as to why this worked so well on me but i think they do this in a regular length as well it's from asos so it's at a nice low price point if you're on a budget honestly you wouldn't know this is stunning. I am obsessed with it. I love the colour. This is a colour that I've never worn before until recently and I am actually a big, big fan of it. I love the whole shape of the dress. It's got cutouts, which normally I don't love and particularly for wedding guest dressing, I try to steer away from because I just know how many of you don't love it. But it's actually not that noticeable on this and I think you can't really see it because the sleeves are giving so much like they're giving you can't really see it and no one's going to be staring at your waist they're going to be staring at how much gorgeous floatiness there is going on because it's also like tiered on the bottom it's so beautiful it's also a nice light material so if you are traveling for a wedding like if it's not in your hometown you're staying away from home this is a really lovely wedding guest dress option because it's really like not heavy not going to be a faff to carry around though the steamer will be required and so will need to be packed with you this dress is stunning stunning i am obsessed with this color i think it's just so rare at the moment to see a dress in this exact shade it's not a light sage it's like this gorgeous dark cool toned sage it's so so beautiful it's almost like got a little bit of gray to it i cannot get over this color this is just going to be my color of the spring which i feel like it's a slightly different one for spring it's a little bit darker than i'd normally go normally when i think spring i think pastels groundbreaking i know but this is like giving spring but with a nice twist i am obsessed with it i love the cut side note when you get this out of the bag like it's it looks grim it looks horrible but as soon as i steamed it it transformed it is a little bit trickier to steam like the creases they wanted to bounce back but it's so so worth the time because it is just gorgeous i love the way the fabric just kind of floats and ripples it's so beautiful it's giving like fleur de force's wedding dress like those tears like that dress 
lives rent free in my brain. I am very happy with this one. Such a gorgeous, affordable dress. I am going to need to boob tape just here, just on the inside, just tape it down. Because as I move, this is kind of moving with me. I've got nipple covers on, which are saving the day, but yeah, it's a little bit, it's got movement. And I don't mind that because it gives this lovely kind of shape and it's got this gorgeous kind of wide shoulder detail of the back as well. It's gorgeous and low, oh, it's just stunning. I just love the sleeves, like even the side profile is so cool, like these sleeves are so big and billowy and then you've got the little kind of floaty cuff. I just styled it with my little green Valentino bag because I just think it makes the most beautiful addition to this kind of sage color, but makes it a little bit more springy because it's just such a gorgeous spring green color. I'm so glad I kept this. I have almost depopped this about a hundred times and now I, this will be sticking with me. And then I've got my Dior slingbacks on, which again, they're a lovely pinky nude, but they bring a very spring-like feel to the outfit. This color could also be a really nice one for winter with like gold accessories. I mean, even right now with gold accessories, this would be stunning, but you could also go for like a metallic gray blue something a bit sheeny with like silver accents i think would be really lovely and ties in really nicely because this is such a cool toned kind of almost gray toned green so it could be a beautiful one for the winter or autumn as well the only thing i wouldn't recommend this for is probably summer because i do think with this material i always think with high street dresses it's, it's really hard to go long sleeve during the summer because some of the materials really do keep the heat in and I personally would feel quite hot and uncomfortable. However, if you like to have your arms covered, this is just a no-brainer. It's absolutely stunning. I'm going to stop talking about it now and we'll move on to the next dress. This is the most stunning, gorgeous, classic dress from Nadine Marabi. This is real like wedding guest dress vibes to me. It's giving like self-portrait azalea dresses, which if you don't know, they are some of my favorite dresses for wedding guest dressing of all time. They're just such a beautiful, interesting, but not too like wild. Like they're that perfect mix of like being interesting. Everyone when I go to weddings is like, oh my God, this dress is beautiful. I've never seen anything like it before, but it's still like that lacy floral kind of design that works so beautifully for a wedding. They come in so many colors. The sizing is always very, very good and they're very sturdy and they're really beautifully well made. I own three of them and I just completely adore them. I couldn't recommend them highly enough, but I wanted to go for something different because I really do bleat on about them so much in these videos and I don't want things to get boring. And Nadine Morabi do their own version and it is a little bit different. We don't have like cut out lace, but it is a beautiful lacy material. It's got corseting, which is so nice and structured. Also the inside of this, like look, that is stunning. These do sit at a higher price point. I would say they're quite in line with like self-portrait pricing. So that entry level luxury. So you're looking at a couple of hundred to a few hundred pounds for Nadine Marabi pieces, but honestly they are so worth it because they are incredible. I also love this tiny little waist detailing. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. It's so structured. It fits like a dream. Just really can't get over the inside. Like the fact that they have this gorgeous, Almost like the, this is what you would expect from the outside of a dress, not from the inside. And it's so like thick, but not too thick. It's also lined underneath as well. They do a lot of this where they'll do a beautiful nude lining under something a little bit sheer. And I just, I love that. I think it's wonderful. I don't feel like this reflects my usual style, but there are some occasions where you kind of just need to not fully go to town on your personal style because uh, you just, for the occasion, I need to dress like I'm on my best behavior. You know those weddings? Those weddings. This is one of those dresses for me. It's just such a classic. It's so beautiful, so elegant. I love the color of this. This is apparently gonna be one of the colors for this year. So very on trend as well, whilst being a gorgeous classic that you could pull out again and again and again. It would also be lovely for a number of other occasions, whether it's like fancy kind of christening events, or even just a really gorgeous like garden birthday party. So there are definitely opportunities to crack this one out. Again, if you do choose to purchase it, because it is 
definitely a little bit more of an investment purchase as opposed to dress number one but it is just gorgeous like the quality is unreal the fit is stunning i will put the size i think i got a small but i will double check and i will put all of the sizing and the fits in the info box but yeah this is gorgeous and it is just so well made like the structure of it is incredible it's got boning down to the waist and then just flares out into this gorgeous lacy skirt i feel like a real princess in this dress this next dress i am obsessed with the print of it's this beautiful dusky pink tone and then it's got these lovely red roses in almost like a velvety yeah it feels like a velvety material giving like real romantic vibe it has an inbuilt bra which i think is so cool but you don't like see it when you're wearing it and i just think that's a really nice touch however it does i didn't realize this it does have like the because it has the built-in bra it does have the bra straps showing at the back and i just don't know if i love that you'll see it when it's on but it's a beautiful length like a really nice uh midi on most people it's kind of like nearing ankle length on me uh, but it does have adjustable straps so you can kind of bring it up a little fraction i actually didn't do that with the try-ons of this for me this one sits at a more evening wedding guest dress point this one is one of those ones where you have to kind of think about it a bit more but i do think because it is a lovely spring color and it has that floral aspect to it it still has a kind of like traditional wedding guest dress feel to it but without then looking traditionally wedding guest dressy if that makes sense and that was one of the reasons that i loved it so much with this dress firstly it doesn't fit as fitted as i expected it to with house of cb i was expecting like if you remember my first ever wedding guest dress video i made and there was the tan dress that i was literally i couldn't walk further than this like it was crazy so with that in mind i was expecting this to be a little bit more fitted and it's kind of thrown me that it's not it's a little bit more loose i don't know if you can see does it look good i'm not sure i can't really I, it's also like this is the built-in bra to it and i think at a wedding there will be a lot of people that may be confused and just think that i just got my bra showing and not understand this part of the dress do i go gold or do i go a little spring green what do we think i think i love the green because we've got a little bit of floral going on here but it also clashes but brings a little bit of spring however props to this for being able to walk in i will give it that this is like this is a good amount of room I like this. I thought this one was a really fun take on your traditional pastels. This is like a gorgeous, almost pastel lilac, but it's just a bit past pastel. It's just a little bit darker. Um, the color is a little bit more bold. I love the way it brings out my tan. However, I want your opinions on the fit of this dress when you see the try on because I just don't feel like it's necessarily giving, but I think on someone taller than me, it could be a gorgeous wedding guest dress option. It does have the open back and it is a little bit higher on the leg. That makes it look super high, but it's not. But I think the shape and the floatiness almost counteracts that like backless element and it just does work really, really beautifully. However, I just don't think it bangs on me but i want to hear your thoughts on this but if you do like it it is at a lovely affordable price point because this is one of the asos ones and i think on the taller girlies this would be stunning this dress love the color don't love the fit i think potentially if you are a lot taller this will look a lot better the way it drapes is really nice as well and the length is beautiful the color beautiful a really lovely color that is going to be trending throughout this year and it's just so bright and it's like a pastel but it's not a pastel if that makes sense i think this could do you for spring and summer if you've got a couple of weddings coming up and you just want to rewear one thing i think this would be ideal i just paired it with a little cream bag because i honestly didn't know what would go <laughs> with this dress um and then i've just gone for a pair of nude heels i actually do have a pair of heels the exact same color as this dress but i felt like that might be a bit too much because they have like bows on them and there's already enough like material going on here so yeah i played it safe i've gone with the cream bag and um, though you could also go with gold i'm not sold i'm not sold on it going for something that will be a bit more covering on the back and arms we have a couple of gorgeous dresses which are shorter dresses but they have this lovely uh kind of tall sleeve over the arms and they're fully like zipped up at the back no chest on show but they are mini dresses and this one i just thought was stunning because it has the floral element which is so 
heavily associated uh, with a UK wedding guest dress. It's floral, but it's not a crazy bright color. It feels like a very sophisticated way to do a floral, but then the overall shape of the dress is really fun. And I kind of just love that combination. I personally love wearing like those beigey pinky tones, but at a wedding it does, some people are a bit funny about it, Honestly, there's so many things that people are funny about with weddings that everyone's got an opinion on everything. But I can see their point when people say that this kind of beigey color is very close to a bridesmaid's dress color. Again, depends on the wedding because not everyone does go for a neutral kind of pinky tone. However, I think my point being, I think that the gorgeous floral purple pattern on this then stops it looking like a bridesmaid's dress. So you can still, if you're a lover of neutral beigey pinky tones, like that blush color, you could then get away with it. So I'll show you what this looks like on now, but I think that's such a lovely one for spring, especially if you're a neutral lover like me. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. I am obsessed. I'm just obsessed with the print on this. Just love it when a high street dress like has enough structure to really like give something. Uh, outside of the spring, I would definitely be sweating in this just because this material, though it is so thin, it's it doesn't feel uh super luxurious and it doesn't feel super breathable so i do think this is a great one for the spring because i honestly wouldn't worry about wearing a coat with this however going in summer i think i would be absolutely sweating in this so a really fun one to make the most of for right now and this is a lovely way to do like something fun and a print and a color at a wedding but without being crazy bold like the structure is obviously a little bit more bold but because we're working with a nude base color it still feels really elegant and still very timeless even though we're working with like print and quite a structured dress you could really have your pick of bag colors with this as well i think gold would be absolutely stunning you could go for the little spring green which i think really brings out the pink and the purple this is kind of like a very neutral Kind of glam look but this is like making everything pop or you could just go for a really simple cream as well which i think works really beautifully too i think for an affordable dress this is a gorgeous option just throw on a pair of nude shoes i've just thrown on my dual sling backs but you can really go for anything you can even go for a darker color that works in really well with the print on this or something gold this is a very nice easy wedding guest dress option for me and then we have this one which I don't know if I love as much, but it does look lovely on. This is another ASOS one, so it's at a lovely low price point. And I think this is one that you can get wear out of for multiple things, whether it's like garden parties over spring, summer, christenings, general like nice kind of special occasions. This is a really lovely one. You do have a very good chance of re-wearing this and it is in a lovely like summery color as well. It's really bringing the summery vibes even though it's nowhere near summer yet and we're all still kind of a bit cold hmm do we go cream or gold this is tricky maybe the cream um, i'm not sure i'm not i'm not fully confident in this decision but i'm gonna roll with it this is one of the examples of you cannot have all three when you shop on the high street like in terms of price design and material like there is a triangle and you can only pick two this one is very affordable and the design of it overall stunning however the way they have implemented it not fantastic so i think the slip dress underneath could have just been a fraction lighter to stand out just slightly less i think it pops a bit too much but also the overall feel of this dress not great and this is one that i think you would be absolutely sweating in if you wore it in the summer so it's basically summer colors and bringing the summer vibes but it, it needs to be worn in the spring but the overall fit and design of it is amazing like even it even hits at the right point on the waist which is shocking to me like it is so beautiful so fun but i do just think there are a couple of things that i personally would have done differently however it is at a very affordable price point and i think it's a really gorgeous option for a spring wedding this is another one though that fyi looks terrible when you take it out of the bag and needs a lot of steaming and a lot of love but once you steam it it looks like a completely different dress and it looks gorgeous it's just unfortunately the material that lets it down but in terms of like fit and overall kind of design and aesthetic it's just so pretty like i said if you run 
bit colder these are going to be wonderful wedding guest dress options again this comes back to how dressy the wedding is that you're going to because these are fabulous and i don't use the word fabulous lightly i actually hate using the word fabulous but these really they deserve it as my lovely friend josie would say these are sensational these are nadine marabi jumpsuits and i say these because I have two i don't know i must have done something good in a past life i have two of these with me right now and i love these so much because they really are that very traditional wedding guest dress pastel vibe but they're in jumpsuit form so for the girlies that don't love wearing dresses to weddings but really need to look quite dressy i feel like when you don't wear a dress to a wedding you almost have to overcompensate because otherwise you run the risk of looking too casual i don't know maybe that's just me but these are just incredible i cannot wait to show you these on and you've got a long sleeve and it's lined so if you get cold quite easily this is a really great option to look at i can't wait to show you this on this is insane this is i actually i can't get over how cool this is what am i pairing this with do we go sparkly back gray oh i quite like that cream i'm gonna go with gray i don't know why but i kind of like that this is kind of toning down the pastel. Pastels are not my uh, comfort zone. Depending on the pastel, sometimes it really bangs with my skin tone and sometimes it makes me look ashy. A -F. This was one of the items from my edit that I was a little bit scared to try on. Now, I do need to take a moment for the fact that the Nadine and Morabi team sent this over to me and they very kindly, I think they probably saw the disaster that was the uh, winter version of this and it was kind of like a party slash winter wedding guest dress edit. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it. I tried on a jumpsuit and it was like three million miles too long and I don't feel like it really <laughs> did the jumpsuit any justice. So this time around they were like, Suze, do you want us to take this up for you? They are the best and I'm so thankful to them for doing this because look it's like perfectly floor length i am obsessed i am obsessed i love this so much i think this is the most gorgeous option for a spring wedding guest dress slash not dress outfit it's definitely going to keep you warm you're not necessarily going to need another layer over the top it's the perfect color and it's amazing if you're not a lover of wearing dresses i always like to include a few jumpsuits where possible in these edits for those that just really don't love wearing dresses i don't think that wearing a dress is as traditional as it is i don't think it's necessarily a must anymore and there are so many amazing super dressy gorgeous jumpsuit options out there now that i think you can get away with not wearing a dress if you don't want to um, and nadine marabi are one of the many brands that are doing kind of occasional jumpsuits so so well this is just like the quality of these are stunning i cannot rave i haven't done this fully up by the way because i'm on my own but i cannot rave highly enough about the quality of nadine marabi pieces they are just absolutely stunning and i don't think i've ever tried anything on from them and not like said out loud wow and um, even if they're things that don't necessarily suit me they're just they are main character energy outfits and i am obsessed and then we also have this stunning color as well honestly i adore these they are just beautiful they also have shoulder pads as well which gives the most wonderful shape to the body i can't i rave about these so much in the try on so i'm not going to talk about it too much because i don't want to bore you but i can't wait to show you this one i feel like i'm really giving sleeping beauty here in switching the jumpsuit from blue to pink i actually can't decide which color i love more they are both so beautiful i think i think it's maybe the blue this one's lovely because the pink is like a warm pastel pink and i think that looks nice with my skin tone but the blue just there's something about it it pops it's so nice i don't know let me know if there's one of the two that you prefer um but yeah again it fits beautifully it's so gorgeous again can't thank them enough for taking the leg up for me and um, all of the i'm pretty sure all of their jumpsuits come extra long with the idea that everyone has to take them up to their leg length um so even if you are like six foot something like I, and i really mean it when i say that like the leg length on them when you get it out of the box it is long but i kind of like that they do that because it's almost fairer like everyone is gonna have to adjust the leg length not just the short girls and then the tall girls are being left out because it's actually too short on the tall girls it's made to fit 
every leg length. And let me tell you, for the fit and the quality of their items, to me it's worth the hassle. Like I did it with a, a full sequin jumpsuit. This is a breeze for a tailor. The sequin, the full sequins, it's slightly more tricky. But yeah, I absolutely love this. I think if you're a lover of pink and pastel pink, this is such a gorgeous option. And these are really fun for weddings. I think especially if it's quite a big like fancy wedding and you've got like an evening situation to go to, this is just such a perfect option. It's so pretty. I love with the pink one as well, how this looks fully like nude on top. I just think it's so cool. And these are fully lined as well. I don't know if you can see, but yeah. So they're not see-through, they're just perfect. They also come with a little belt, but I just don't love a belt. Like I find it kind of bulks out my waist a bit, which is something that I don't like to do because it is my smallest point. I'm gonna stop gassing them up now because it's getting boring, but I could not recommend them highly enough if I haven't said it 50 times already. They are, they are literally my go-to for any occasion wear at the moment. And then we have a dress that you may have already seen me wear. I wore this very recently to an event with Harper's Bazaar for International Women's Day with Claude Poe, and I love this. I love it so much. I put it on again today for the first time after wearing it last, is it last week? Yeah, last week. And I felt wonderful all over again. Like I, sometimes when you wear something a lot, you kind of get used to how you feel in it. But this takes my breath away every time. I adore this color. The cut and fit of the dress is stunning for the fact that it doesn't have a ton. Like it has a little bit of boning on the top half here, um, but nothing too crazy. It really does have such a beautiful shape. Like they have stitched the waist in just at the perfect point. And I don't have the longest body in the world. Like I generally find it quite hard wearing dresses because of that, as you will have seen in the earlier try-ons. But they have stitched this at a point where I just think it would look wonderful on everyone. And it also has a slit at the back so that you can walk really nice and easily. As you will have just seen, it's also line so nice and thick i think this would be a wonderful one for all year round to be honest i like this is a high contender for the weddings that i'm going to this year and they are actually in the summer and i'd still highly consider wearing this because although it's thicker it's still leaving my shoulders exposed which is generally somewhere where i lose a lot of heat from so i think i could make this work for spring summer and wear this during like fall autumn winter all of that i think the color and the design make it really versatile like feathers i would normally associate with like winter uh dressing up however the color of it is almost like it could be springy it could be springy but it also could be autumnal but it also could be wintry it depends on the accessories you choose to pair with it i think this is a lovely option to look into especially if you do like something a little bit unconventional but you don't want anything that's gonna rock the boat too much because the rest of this dress is such a classic very simple style and you just kind of have this top half which is the wow factor and i think it's really beautifully balanced in that way honestly I can't rave about it enough she is back in the dress i am just so obsessed with this it is just gorgeous you know when you just feel so good in something and i love the fact that this dress is like quite mature. It's not super like outrageously sexy. It's not super out there, but it's still so fun. It's got like that perfect balance. The color of it as well is just really unique. It's really beautiful. And I think it will work well for a spring wedding, but also for winter and like autumn weddings as well. This color is a really amazing one that I think can kind of go either way and you can just accessorize differently like if i were to wear this for a winter wedding i would probably go for something like sparkly or a little bit more muted this chanel bag just makes everything look like wintry and gorgeous and really chic but the little green bag gives it real spring vibes so it looks lovely with a gold as well so it's just a real keeper for me to have in my wardrobe and then finally this surprised me the first time i tried this on i think i tried it on with no makeup and i don't think i put heels on either when i tried it on today i felt completely different about this this is another one that is lovely for something that maybe is a bit more low-key or if you just aren't a dress girly and you feel very very uncomfortable in dresses like i feel you there are some things some situations in life where i don't feel comfortable in certain uh outfits or types of clothing and i really feel for those of you because i just think like wedding 
guest dressing as much as the day is not about you no one is looking at you no one cares about how you really look unless they're just being really judgy and actually that's a them problem but at the same time emotions always run really high you don't want to like rock the boat at all but you also don't want to feel completely uncomfortable and for those people that don't really like wearing dresses or never wear dresses i completely understand why it's such a daunting thing so i always like to bring some options to the table in these videos and i think this is such a gorgeous option this is from zara and it is at a higher price point if you buy the entire outfit for zara like i think the jacket alone is like 129 pounds however it is a really lovely thick blazer it's got this gorgeous like crazy feathery cuff detail which is so beautiful and then it also has a matching top and then matching trousers. And I think it's such a wonderful option for those that really don't feel comfortable wearing a dress. Like this is just stunning. If someone rocked up to this at my wedding, I'd be like, yes, I would literally be at the altar being like, that is fire, I love that. And for reference with that one, I got the tops in a size small because I wanted the blazer to be a little bit more oversized. I just love that look on me. But I also got the top in a size small, big mistake. And the trousers I got in an extra small and that was a smart decision. I would say with that look, there's definitely no need to size up so that is my final try on i cannot wait to show you how it looks oh my god i almost forgot to do this one and that would have been a travesty because this is such a fun wedding guest dress outfit option however if i keep this it needs serious tailoring i stupidly i don't know if it was because this was the only size that was available but i stupidly got a small in the top and it's just absolutely falling off of me it's ridiculous star sizing so inconsistent because i swear i put on a small in something yesterday and it was perfect however the trousers i'm actually impressed with these they're not going to need like taking up that dramatically um i am wearing my highest heels which do match it very nicely yeah they're they're, they're obviously too long but there's not going to be too much excess material to be taking up for once which is shocking but this isn't the best bit this is not the best bit hang on stay with me here oh my god this is so fun i think this flew off the zara website but i'm hoping that by the time this video goes live there will have been a restock and i feel like this is such a nice wedding guest dress outfit option if you don't like wearing dresses but it's still so fun the color is very springy it does verge slightly on risking a bridesmaid's dress color however because it's a blazer I just don't really think you run the chance of being mistaken for a bridesmaid because it, you're wearing a suit. What bridesmaids wear suits? And you can really have fun with this. I think the little green spring colored bag would be such a nice touch with this. You could also go for like a gold or a silver as well, or just a pinky nude. I just, uh, I don't have a nude bag right now really stupid of me i really need to sort that out before wedding season because i feel like that would just be an absolute staple um and just over spring summer why do i not own a new bag and this is a really nice one for spring because you just don't really know what the weather's always going to do and the fact that the jacket is like part of the look but you can fully take it off if you want you could wear it over your shoulders if you wanted to there's layering going on here and i absolutely love this so much let me know what you think of it i think i might have to keep it i think with a little bit of tailoring this would be like stunning and such a great staple in my wardrobe and even if in the future i'm not really loving like the feathered blazer so much this this is timeless this is a great little combo to have in your wardrobe just in general you can really break this down you could have the trousers for like office wear after the top would make like a cute little night out top with a pair of black trousers so i think if you are looking for like a really nice all-rounder that is very multifunctional something like this is perfect it is it is a great one if you're looking to get the most out of your wardrobe also a really nice one if the wedding is a little bit more casual as well but as i always say it's completely up to you it depends on your relationship with the bride and groom it depends on your style it depends on the wedding it depends on the location there's so many variables for me and that is why these wedding guest dress edits are quite varied in some aspects and each of us are so individual in our personal style and what we feel comfortable wearing i would love to know what do you think about this i also 
never realized until i started filming this video that in some countries wearing all black is completely acceptable so if anyone's wondering why i don't feature any black dresses um it's literally because in the uk like traditionally that's not really a thing yeah like i said every wedding every location every bride every groom so different and as unhelpful as that sentiment is i hope this video was helpful in some way i'm gonna leave it here i hope you guys have really enjoyed this taken some inspo found it helpful i'm gonna go now and find someone to alter this because i am obsessed with it i hope you've all enjoyed this i love you all so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys again very very soon don't forget to subscribe by the way if you are new here and if you love these videos these are going to be more of a regular like quarterly i'm going to try for quarterly thing around here just love a wedding guest dress edit but anyway subscribe if you are new i upload twice a week and it's a mixture of like vlogs and videos like these fashion and beauty is really my jam here and if that is your jam too then please come back and join me for more love you all so much and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye